All right, YouTube, welcome back to Starfield. And we are back in New Jameson here. And uh, I forgot I had a bounty on me, so when I fast traveled to the planet, I got arrested. So that's why we're walking out here. But uh, we got to talk to uh, Vay Victus and uh, handle the situation that we got going on here. So I'm going to assume he's probably going to talk his way out of it. Or maybe we just got to put him down like we did the uh, the Hope CEO. But, um, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm still injured. Um, hmm. How can I fix that real quick? Uh, I need a doctor. And where's a doctor in New Jameson? I know all the other planets, but this one really. Um, I think... Didn't they have one in the poor part of town? I think they had a doctor down here. Where was that elevator at? Uh, that way. Yeah, let's go stop by the doctor real quick. I forgot all about me getting uh, injured and whatnot. So let's fix this real quick before we go to Vegas. this. I'm sure they probably got a doctor up here somewhere, maybe in the UC Vanguard. But since I don't know where that is, we're going to go down to the well here and uh, talk to the doctor lady that they got down here. But yeah, I'm going to assume this is like the last quest in the uh, UC Vanguard quest line. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it feels like that. Or like maybe we got one more. Like this is going to introduce us to one more. Maybe they make this runs or tries to do a coup or something like that. But I've got limited resources. We're doing the best we can here. Okay. What seems to be the problem? Everything. Everything wrong with you. You're not trying to pull my leg, are you? Wait, what? No, I need help. I'm, my, I'm like, my leg is busted and everything. Uh, wait, did my stuff just magically get fixed? Okay, that's super weird. Okay. I, that was super fucking weird, because I didn't heal up just now. <laughs> Is going inside of an elevator like progress time? Maybe uh, I went over the threshold for time and uh, maybe it healed itself up. Because I do notice some things work like that. Uh, spaceport. But yeah, some things kind of work like that where it's like if you don't heal after so long, you will just, I guess, heal up from it naturally. Because I did see uh, uh, that kind of achievement thing kind of pop up. When we were running, it was saying something about uh, regen and stuff like that. So maybe that's when I healed up from it. But okay. I mean, I'm not going to argue. All right. Uh, mass, please. I know I'm still over encumbered, but I'm not going to worry about that. Probably don't have to do a whole lot of running in this uh, when you're on planets like this here. Probably go here, talk to somebody, go here, talk to somebody, and then fast travel somewhere. But since we got the data, I'm going to assume that. Excuse me. I'm going to assume that this is going to be the end of this quest line. Either we go back to Vavik, just have a talk and either take him out or he explains himself. Or he gives us like the next piece of the puzzle and be like, yeah, I did it. Blah, 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 blah. But we still got to take out the Terramorphs or whatever. So maybe there's going to be like an end mission where we got to actually solve that problem across the board. But. Um, I just not get, I'm, not, I'm just not getting that vibe. So I think it was subsection seven. It was like the lowest floor. Uh, yep. This was it. Cause it should be to the right and through here. Cause, um, I, I just don't think we're going to like go planet to planet killing heat leeches. So. Maybe we gotta like secure the uh, the gas that we were trying to make, and then somehow I gotta fly to different planets and like you know drop it down or something. All right. Well, what a pleasant surprise! When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian of all places, I presumed you must be onto something big. Did you find what you were looking for? Okay. See, we don't know that for sure. Uh, 
Yeah, let's let's go with this one. Good news then. So, what exactly are you doing here? Plenty still to be done in defeating the Terramorphs, no? Did you? Well, I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. After all, given the Cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. I doubt it. I mean, I, I really don't. Really don't think you uh, can offer me anything that I don't have. Uh, see, this implies that I won't do it if he tells me the truth. Let me not go with that. Let's go with this one. You know, you're far more clever than I expected. You want to hear the words then? I did it. The Terramorph attacks on Tau City, New Atlantis, my doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I, figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian, learning to synthesize it, use it as a weapon. Now, being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. Eh, I can guess, but I really don't care. Wow, if this was his reason, that is incredibly dumb. Just to say, hey, we have a weapon, we could use it, but we don't really need a set, a set weapon. <laughs> like, it's cool to have something in your back pocket, but you can't really control it all that well <laughs> you know that's like that, that's like a weapon you just kind of that's the, that's like a viral outbreak weapon yeah you can tailor it to what you want but the moment you release it onto a populace it might mutate and take on other things do other things you didn't expect and grow out of your control that's how i see the terramorphs it's like okay yeah you drop one on a planet it's, it's just gonna run amok and kill anybody you can't target anybody with it you know it's like it's it's incredibly stupid. It's 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 a it's a dumb weapon as you know as they're called. It's just stupid. Mm, not a bad thought. Okay, good. That, that, that's what I thought. That was stupid. Were a correction. When I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found, but we were at war, and I can risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport, fixing two problems at once, halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. <sighs> I agree with the sentiment. Let me say that because I played a renegade playthrough of Mass Effect, you know. I agree with, okay, you needed to solve this problem to stop everybody from finding out, right? But to me, you still had options in that scenario, right? And his way of thinking, it's okay, people, if, if this ever got out, then they would know our weapon, you know? It's like, okay, fine, which they probably got already got spies in your organization, just, just like any other government. <laughs> Just like you would have in theirs, you know? So it's going to get out there anyway, no matter what, right? Or his situation is like, okay, I, I have to kill everybody, so I'm the only one who knows the secret. But, like, the only people in the room were, like, those two or three people. Everybody else was focused on the Terramorph attack. I mean, at worst, yeah, take out those two or three people. Or, let's say, bring them into your inner circle and make it so they don't tell nobody. Versus just killing off any survivors and everybody there it's like it's 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 still stupid it's not like it's he didn't need to do that <laughs> you know it's not that big of a secret it's not like you have like the the super uber weapon that can instantly wipe out everybody something that's really like beneficial like okay yeah we really don't want nobody to know about this the heat leeches evolving into terramorphs isn't really i mean honestly 
isn't really that big of a problem. Because, like, if I can shoot them with guns, granted, I mean, I know I got my little modded, you know, rocket guns and stuff, or not rocket guns, explosive ammo guns. But Terramorphs, they're not like a sentient army that has tactics or whatever. They're just creatures. You can just pump them full of bullets until they die. You just probably need a lot of bullets. So it's not, they're not that big of a weapon to where it's like, okay, like it ain't like, oh, we don't want the enemy to know we got nukes in our back pocket. It's like, you know, that's, that's something a little bit bigger. So I can't agree with that either. Simple to say now, but with the outbreak raging from a barely understood source, the moment demanded quick action. So I did what was required. Mm -hmm. I removed the dangerous variable from an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter, she becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor, having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. Mm hmm Okay, so yeah, that was the guy that we had to kill before we did the last couple missions. Okay. Yeah, he is kind of sick, but. There are no heroes without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. I don't really care about buying a home. I have a ball and spaceship. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with this. I'm simply looking for you to acknowledge the truth. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. Mm -hmm. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So, um, because I don't like being used. If you'd have just told me straight away when we first met, hey, look, I hate the UC. This is what I want. I might have rolled with you. But no, 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 thank you. So, um, yeah. That is a pity, Captain. You're going to try to kill me now? Okay. You and I. Just think about the opportunity I've provided here. There are more on the horizon. If I be your bitch. Yeah, no thank you. 
All right, how do I kill Vay Victus? I don't like. I mean, this can't. You know what? Let's see. What was the no uh, no clip thing? There we go. Is that it? Yeah, I don't care about whatever. Yeah, let's uh, solve this problem real quick, YouTube. Hey, Vay Victus, how you doing? Be with you in a set. Let me see what you have in your house. Because I'm going to assume that uh, since we have that switch, maybe we get to come here and take him out at some point. But uh, if we don't, we're just going to see what we have here. What is this? Okay. Right, and I don't see nothing we can really pick up. Nothing worth grabbing. Nice little two-level apartment, though. Well, how's the stick? Alright, kitchen area. They ain't even give this man a stove? They gave this man a hot plate. <laughs> and a toaster oven. God damn. They didn't cook his own food, really. All right. Uh, crappy bedroom. All right. Nothing here. All right. Uh, I'm shoot you right in the dick. Wait, what? Uh, come on, game. That's some bullshit. So I can't kill him. I can't kill him. That's what the game's telling me right now. All right, where are those mines we picked up? We might be able to to work the game over. Let's see, because we got these mines, so if we can probably, if I put like a bunch here, maybe once we tell the council, they'll be like, "Oh, we want you to take out Victus, and then we come down here, he'll aggro, step on the mines and blow up. Maybe that's gonna be a thing. All right, so good thing this isn't like Fallout where you put too many mines in one spot and they instantly blow up. All right, that should be enough. All right, let's get up out of here. And then hopefully... Wait, hold on. Okay, I was about, I was about to say, why am I stepping on the ground, but... <laughs> There we go. Now she let me jump. There we go. Okay. So what I'm guessing is, you see this switch? Like, I'm guessing that you flip this and this opens this door. But they won't let me do it right now. So I'm hoping that maybe later on they'll let me do that. And then once I do that, then it, I can take him out. So We'll see. We'll see how the game is played. All right, uh, definitely don't want to go in here. Uh, yeah, we speak to Adrian and Percival. No, we don't want to do that. Because we probably just got to go upstairs. So now that we've talked to him, we have his reason. So now we just got to turn it into the, uh, the council and speak with everybody and see what, see what they say. All right, uh, how do I get out of here? No, nope, that was to her office. Oh, here we go. Thought you were going to be outside. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against terramorphs. Okay. It means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? Yeah, he did it all. It fast. I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew. <laughs> why? Did he say why he did it? 
It takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. Exactly. Bring justice to everyone he's hurt. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Uh, I'm good. Um... Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet weigh in. See if they have a preference. I mean, she does have a point. I mean, can't we just release the microbe and then bomb the hell out of the plant? I mean, that seems like the most viable way to do it. All right. And here we go. Let's do it. Yes? What? Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? Yeah, most of it. This report comes from a particularly confidential source both you and I are familiar with, yes. Among the reasons its findings are so alarming. Now, is it true? Was the attack on New Atlantis planned? The second report claims to know the perpetrator as well. Did Reginald Orlais actually commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? No, it was not. It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use Terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That, that, that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling, considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? Pretty much. Help us. Is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain. We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Vavik to sooner. 
I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. So can I be the one to go downstairs and put a bullet in him? That would be awesome. Yeah, let me not do that. I'm inclined to agree, Captain. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Hmm. Yeah, it should be wiped out. We're already discussing the elimination of one species, Captain. Explain to me why you wish to eliminate another. Why do you want to keep it? That, that is an idea with some merit to it. Decrease the likelihood of anything like this occurring again, and further relations between our two factions. Thank you. Two birds with a single stone. Very well. We'll include the collective in the removal process. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. Okay, so my take on the matter is uh, what's going to be the quickest solution? It may not be the best. It may mutate in the future. But either way, I won't be in this universe after playing the main story, so I don't care. <laughs> so, Y'all's problem to deal with if it happens. So, uh, yeah, wipe them out completely. Glad to see someone's not afraid of a little applied genetics. Oh, hold on, lady. That sounds that sounds like an air of eugenics going on. Like I'm not Dr. Walker. That gun hole with it, but we trust the captain's judgment. I wouldn't go that far. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. Mm -hmm. all your checkered histories with the Xeno Warfare Unit or SysDef the cabinet still believes you all earned a display of gratitude for what you've done today we will be adding three new class one citizens to our ranks what's a class one citizen class one? for the three of us are you joking what he means to say is thank you ma'am oh yeah yeah thank you ma'am What's a class one citizenship? It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies or done great things for its cause. Class ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is rather impressive. What? I get a penthouse? Okay. As long as I'm getting paid. Then I expect you'll be quite pleased. Now, 
There's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On okay. Behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Okay. Yay, new apartments. Why aren't you guys happy? Okay. All right, let's go talk to Suala. See what this uh, apartment looks like. Ah, set as active mission. Yeah, there we go. So now it's going to pop up an elevator. Because, yeah, like, I'm sure they're, they're probably going to have some kind of ongoing random dungeon quest you can do, but, like, I'm, I'm not doing that. We are done. We saved the universe from the terror morphs. Yay. Just kind of hoping to put a bullet in something in this video, but I guess not. They're just going to keep Vay Victus on the, on the back burner, huh? Just going to keep him down there in prison. Not even going to deal with that problem. What's up, guy? Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a Class 1 citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. Okay. Luckily, I'm one step ahead of you. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. Okay. $12,000. $12,000. That's a general amount of cash. That's that's like nothing. Honestly. Well, he's going to have more work for a long time. It's going to be looking for me for a long time. All right. Where's the realty office? At least we can see what this apartment looks like. Uh, trying to think. Because I remember, we didn't we go there before? For one of the, the side quests? I think like off camera, I did a couple things. And there was a realty office. I think it was this building. Because I remember in one of the videos, we were talking about like the apartments and stuff. Um, and I was like, she didn't have nothing. If I remember right, I remember coming here. She didn't have nothing for us to get. So maybe now she probably has it. Well, if it isn't the United Colonies newest class one citizen, you've made quite a name for yourself in New Atlantis. In fact, the higher ups want to thank you for your dedicated service by giving you one of the nicest pieces of real estate in the city. It's a premium penthouse at the top of Mercury Tower best location in new atlantis in my professional opinion what do you say it'll just take a second to get you registered as the owner i could have been registered already if you did it instead of talking great you're in for a real treat it's one of my favorite apartments in the city okay you're all set your new home's located in mercury tower in the residential district you'll love the place it has a gorgeous floor plan and an unbeatable view of the city. Now that you're an owner, I'm sure I'll be seeing you around town. I doubt it. All right. Let's go to Mercury Tower. Uh, where's this taking us? The subway? I'm not sure I want a foot long sandwich today. Oh, broke my leg. I need to drink more milk. I got weak bones. All 
All right, there we go. Mercury Tower. Ow. All right, let's see what my, my see what my penthouse looks like. Okay. Okay, no furniture. Eh. Just moved in, so. Okay. Big, great view of nothing. All right. Nice kitchenette area. Okay, guessing this is a storeroom. See, I actually got a stove, you know. You know, I'm a gas man myself. I don't like electronic stoves, but I guess it's better than nothing, you know. Better than that hot plate. Uh, What's his name, man? All right. Nice little bathroom. Guessing this is a uh, master bedroom. Got ourselves a nice penthouse view. I could just walk, walk out here butt naked, you know. Let the breeze hit my balls, you know. Okay. Says closet. No. Master bathroom. Two sinks. One for me. One for our. One for any lady friends. Nice glass shower that I can't go into for some reason, which is super weird. Yeah. That's not bad. My real life shower looks better than that, though. All right. What else we got? Master bedroom number two. Nope, closet. No dryer, huh? Just a... Well, no washing machine? So that's a dryer, so... Okay, I'm guessing this is a smaller bedroom. That's not bad. Uh, decent size apartment. Uh, How do I put furniture in here, though? Yeah, another store closet. Okay. It's not bad. Not bad. Um, got to put some furniture in there, though. All right. Maybe we can talk to the receptionist. Maybe, uh, they can order some things for us. Uh, receptionist is gone. Okay. All right, YouTube. I guess I got to figure out how to do this off camera. <laughs> but, um, let me end the video here. And uh, when we come back, we're going to jump into the main quest line of the game and uh, see what all that entails and uh, once we beat that that's going to be the end of the playthrough so unless you guys want to see me knock out all the side stuff and things like that um if you do just let me know down in the comments below but um i'll see you guys in the next one later